Hi everyone, welcome to another video of Umbrella Chick channel. And why I have decided to do this video so fast? Yeah, I mean, why? Well, if you are here, if you are in the US and today had happened one of the most incredible and crazy things ever happened, not because of the, yeah, let's say, let's be honest, the outage that we all suffer today, but not only because of that, because it had it actually had happened in the past, but because of the rumors that are over there in the dark sides of the internet. Well, I just decided to post this video and talk about a little bit about this because there's some of the things that I would like to discuss or some of the things that I would like to talk about and one of the things about maybe they are true, maybe are not, or maybe 50% of them it's true. But the thing is, um, I would like to talk about and put everything on the table. So first of all, today, the US, all the major Ford carriers, T-Mobile, Sprint, at and and Verizon, all of them suffered an outage between their voice and data. But the thing is, everything was concentrated on T-Mobile. And let's say the ball, let's put on, put on this on the table. T-Mobile behind at and and Verizon is the third large carrier, telecommunications carrier in the United States. And yeah, that's true. They were upgrading the network with some of the features that they didn't want to discuss about that. You know, between what happened since the evening and, you know, since the afternoon until the evening, what happened between those hours? What really happened? And here is the thing that I just wanted to put on the table. So basically, they reported this outage. And actually, they didn't even reported. People started to complain through different social medias and different websites that they couldn't be even be able to make calls or receive calls or even receive simple text messages. So what happened was here is something that really called my attention was like they didn't do anything till people start complaining. And you know, that's how basically it works. They are not gonna, you know, try to be embarrassed in front of everyone, in front of millions and millions of viewers, or because they didn't want to accept that the network failed. But here is the thing, and it's not all T-Mobile's fault. So first first, yeah, uh, most of us, uh, because I'm a T-Mobile user, so most of us, we uh, uh, suffered uh, data outage and voice, uh, voice and data outage, basically, which I couldn't even make calls or uh, receive messages or receive calls from any other carriers, even from the same carrier, during basically it seems the pretty early in the morning, like I can say like 10, 10 in the morning till like almost 4 p.m. I mean the Pacific time. So the thing is like they said that they were updating part of the network configuration and something did happen. Something went wrong or something didn't go well, you know. And the thing here is, and I just wanted to put it, making it clear, like how is this gonna be wrong or how this is gonna happen? You know, then suddenly the Verizon, the person that's in charge of Verizon's uh, telecommunication company, he said that uh, unfortunately it's just nothing related to uh, what people it's uh, trying to put on social media or trying to scandalize that it's uh, related to DOS attack or denial of, denial of service attack, but there's something more even boring about that. Yes, he said that, but he said that, oh, it's everything related because the engineers from T-Mobile, they were doing their upgrades. But here is the thing, and let me tell you this, because people, let's be honest about it. How it works, firstly, we have to understand how this uh, cellular networks work and how is their infrastructure uh, basically it, it, it's based about. So here is the thing. Uh, imagine that you got um, a main uh, post office and you have another post office around the world and another post different tiny post office in different states. So here is how it works the cellular network. In cellular network we have something like it's called BGP, which is the border great gateway protocol. Border gateway protocol, which is the main principal protocol that it's used in cellular networks. And this person or this protocol is the one that is in charge to enroute your packets and find the best 
the best road to uh, send that traffic out of your network. But here's the thing, why I put the example of tiny uh, uh, post office branches? Because it works like that. Let's say that we all are here in Los Angeles and we have some calls to do and we want to send those calls to people that are in Manhattan. So in Manhattan, there are some post offices too that uh, they are in charge to uh, receive those letters. But Manhattan's office not only receive Los Angeles letters, they also receive more letters from, I don't know, Miami, Atlanta, and all the major cities. And imagine all of those cities have uh, tiny uh, post office branches that are in charge to write roads, and those roads are gonna be saved in a table, and those roads are gonna work for future traffic. And that's how BGP works. BGP works under mesh topology. What is a mesh topology? It's like a multi-redundancy topology. If one link fails, there is another one available and another one available and another and another and another. What I mean, what I'm talking about is like there's too many link possible combinations that could have failed and now they are telling me that there was simple human make. So here's the thing. I don't know how they work, but I'm pretty sure that they work under Arista technology. Um, Let's say about this. Arista, they, they works on, with Villa. And the thing is like they, they have a, a, a network here and then they have another layer network here. So the thing is like like, there is two layers of traffic that they work on it. So one fell, the other one left, right? So let's make it a simple. The thing here is when an engineer uh, is going to do a modification, firstly, before committing changes, these changes are done in the laboratory because we are talking about that you are making changes on production. And here is the thing. Why are you going to make changes when typically those are the most used hours or peak time for companies, right? Why not doing it overnight when people is sleeping? I don't know. They didn't even think about that. Hmm, there's something curious about that. Second thing, and what I'm thinking, there's something more about just simple human mistake. It's like, as I said, when they are going to do a modification, they're doing it in a lab. And if something goes wrong, then you have a commit warning, right? But let's say that there's no commit warning at all. Let's say that, yeah, you could have, you could have, you know, basically screwed it up and did it everything wrong let's say that and you committed the changes unfortunately this switch fail you're supposed to have a redundant you're supposed to have a backup device right isn't it yeah it is so you see here there's multiple things that i don't believe let's say that okay it was all about a human mistake but here's the thing i don't believe on that we all know that there are steps or hacking in the network and one of them a part of uh, starting to know who is going to be your victim and analyze how your victim's network works this one of the second steps that you have to know is the weight of how your coin how are you going to exploit that network and this injection i'm pretty sure that uh this part was just a testing procedure and don't be surprised if this is going to happen later don't be surprised if this is going to happen later in another carrier maybe it is not t-mobile but maybe it could be another one and i don't want to freak you out guys but i just tell it what i what i right i'm a network engineer too i also work in the same field and I, I know how the process it is. I know that there are, there are good ones, there are bad ones, but let's talk about this. We're talking about that more than 86 million people were affected and I'm yeah, it's true, we pay for service 24 hours, seven days a week, right? And we should deserve a better answer that, oh, no worries, it was just a network mistake. Somebody were doing some configuration and things don't go, don't go good, don't go right sometimes. It's like, really? Are you sure that's everything that you're gonna tell me? Really? And then there is this guy, the, pre the president in charge of T-Mobile said, no worries, our network engineers are working on that right now. And then one hour later he said, oh, everything is up and running now, but there are some uh, services that are failing. I recommend you to use optional way, WhatsApp, Facebook, Twitter, other kind of uh, social medias instead of using regular uh, calls on voice messages. So here's the thing. I'm gonna tell you this. Why all of this is happening right now? I don't know. Maybe it was such a simple network issue. I don't know. Maybe it was. But I'm talking it is. And I don't want to make, make this video into a political thing. That there's something really going on here that we don't know, but it's gonna happen, right? And it's elections. We have elections on November. It's a big move, a big change for our country, and we have to wait for that. 
and cyber attacks is something pretty common, like pretty usual. Don't be surprised. Um, don't be surprised that they already are injected in this cellular career networks, and you know that, and people know that the cellular networks are the hardest one to hack and to penetrate in. And well, yeah, why not start it with cellular network? There's something going on relating to electronic or electronic voting campaign I don't know I mean I'm not gonna about I'm not gonna talk about political stuff in this video but I'm gonna talk in this we all know how BGP works we know we all know how networking works if you're gonna tell me that this issue that happened 10 years ago I will tell you you know what okay there's our mistake but now technology is so advanced I don't think so that should have happened no. they, I'm sorry but they don't convince there's something more over here did happen today that I'm pretty sure that's gonna happen again I don't know. Let me know what you think. Uh, I hope you all enjoy it. Yes, it happened today. It happened all T uh, T Mobile users, other users that were related to. We were basically uncommunicated for more than six hours. There are many people that are still having the consequences of that. Um, if you think that I'm right, I don't know. Leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to turn on your notifications. And don't miss out my next video that's gonna be on Friday. I'm not gonna say what I'm talking about. There are some new surprises. I'm gonna be collaborating with one special partner that I'm not gonna re reveal his name not yet and I hope you all enjoy it don't forget to like subscribe follow my Instagram umbrella Jigs channel and I hope all you like it thank you so much